hey friends what's up and welcome back to a new video so guys in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my best skincare products my glowing skin products the things that i consider to be the best things i use right now basically um these are just things that i've been using over time some i just started using not too long ago so i decided to come share with you guys today so if you're new here hi i'm uche and you're very welcome to my channel please stay with us support the channel by subscribing and liking this video if you're not new here thank you for coming back but if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate it and let's get right into the video okay guys so before we get into the video i just want to say that first of all i'm not a doctor okay <laughs> secondly um when it comes to skincare and you know skincare products generally i just feel like it's basically trial and error you try a product if it doesn't work you leave it if it works you stick to it and i'm going to also talk about their major ingredients and kind of share the benefits of these ingredients on your skin also i'm going to be talking about like the time frame of usage the ones i can remember though so yeah let's get into the video i'm going to be looking at my phone because i have everything here and so basically the first product i'm going to be talking about is my facial scrub and is this one from clarins which is their one step gentle exfoliating cleanser which oof, <laughs> that was a mouthful one step gentle exfoliating cleanser with orange extract for all skin types this um i really like the fact that it's mild on the skin you guys know that the face is like one of the most sensitive parts of the body so this is mild it's so gentle and the major ingredient in it is the the orange extract orange extract is very caring on sensitive skin it helps reduce sunburn and blemishes it helps with dark spots age spots all that good stuff i've been using this now for i think since 2000 19 or 20 i don't know but it's one of those products that is quite expensive but it's like you get your money's worth because um it takes me about one year plus to finish yes because i just use a pea size with skincare products you don't need too much if you pack it you're actually wasting the product so just take a reasonable amount for the area you want to apply and um, at the back of the product it tells how long it should be open which is 18 months so you're good that's that for the facial scrub the next product is my facial cleanser which is the fulvic acid cleanser from Inkalist. <sighs> you guys let me tell you guys a quick story i just started using this two three months ago uh, i think in august when i walked into sephora um i was looking for a facial cleanser and then i asked the lady she was like okay come take this one i was just like what's this one say she was saying a couple of things i felt like maybe she was just trying to sell her market or something but she was like no trust me i'm a skin expert you're going to love this product and because i wasn't familiar with full um, fulvic acid i was very skeptical about it i'm familiar with like salicylic hyaluronic <laughs> hyaluronic and you know glycolic and the rest but this one i haven't heard of it so i was like okay she's really convincing let me try this and you guys i have no regrets at all the minute you use this on your face it immediately smoothens out your face it's very hydrating it's not it doesn't dry out the skin at all i mean don't leave it too long on your face though and the ingredients like the major ingredients is the fulvic full is fulvic not for fulvic acid and if you look up the benefits of fulvic acid it helps neutralize toxins you know it diminishes wrinkles it reduces inflammation it brightens and tones up your skin helps to rejuvenate your skin also helps with sun damage aging complexion all that good stuff i'm very big on you know ingredients when it comes to products i like to look up ingredients before i buy anything so next up is my body scrub 
which is this one from oriflame it's their milk and honey gold smoothing sugar scrub in the past i have tried a couple of scrubs i have tried dead sea salt i have tried apricot i have tried all them all them them but when i found this i started using this in 2018 i found it i loved it and the fact that it has milk and honey you guys the milk and honey milk and honey it's like they work together like those two ingredients they are like five and six they work together milk and honey they both contain antimicrobial properties which is really good for like cleansing your skin and um, milk has lactic acid which is really good to like take away dead skin cells okay honey as well is good to like open up your pores and just clear away every dirt honey helps as well in brightening your skin tone it serves as anti-inflammatory and antibacterial it really helps in reducing appearance of scars so it's a good one next up is the zinga mango and papaya shower gel from boots yes i also got this one not too long ago when i use this is for the days i want to smell like something they can eat you guys whenever i use this product oh my god <laughs> the whole bathroom slash my bedroom smells of fruit i really love the way it feels on the skin it's so smooth and just keeps you very hydrated and i really love the smell i really love it the truth is why I, the reason why i got this product is actually for the fragrance okay the minute i perceived it in the store i was like no no no, no i'm getting this i'm so getting this and i use this not all the time occasionally like i said when i just want to smell really edible and it does the job we cannot forget the benefits of mango and papaya on the skin so papaya is something that really helps with healing on the skin it also enhances the secretion of collagen also it is a source of antioxidant also you guys mango mango is a source of antioxidant you know which helps protect your skin from harmful uv rays prevents premature aging prevents acne boosts collagen protection in your skin and just prevents wrinkle and restores skin elasticity which is like a good thing like it's a plus all around aside from the fact that this product smells amazing okay yes i have more than one <laughs> body wash exactly so the next one is the fig tree brightening black soap with turmeric i've been using this since 2019 also and the reason why i got this is because of hyperpigmentation uh, my back is slightly darker than my front like my back <laughs> i don't know how to explain but my back so it's something it's not really bothering me but i mean if i can make it look better i mean why not then i've really seen the improvement it's really good and the fact that it has turmeric turmeric does the job in terms of hyperpigmentation i mostly use it on the days i exfoliate my skin also turmeric is very good for acne it heals acne it deals with dull skin it reduces um dark areas like i said earlier prevents premature aging i mean these are like good things that we all want for the skin so yeah that's basically it <laughs> next up is another body wash <laughs> so um this one is from ole and it's their total effect sparkling white shower gel which contains a blend of rosa centifolia and vitamins i was using this product actually i still have a bottle i've been using this product since 2013 so when i started using it two years later if i'm not mistaken it got scars i was using it alongside ole body cream i think it was called quench later on it came back into the market and i was like okay fine let me go back to it because i mean it was still looking the same it smelled the same everything was still the same i continued using this product and for a while now like maybe two years three years now i've been thinking of changing my body wash 
because this is like my main body wash not because of maybe this is causing me any problems but i'm just like maybe i would say i'm bored or secondly i don't i can't see this on their websites i've checked i can't find it on their website so i tried the dove bar soap i was really disappointed because it doesn't lather so well i tried a couple of them they don't lather and this only ladders so well months back the wave on dove body was started going off i was like i beg <laughs> is it not the same dove it doesn't ladder people were like oh it ladders so well it smells so good it's so this it's so that and they caught me <laughs> so i decided to try the dove body wash so i got this one which is their invigorating ritual body wash with avocado oil and calendula extract that was a mouthful so i tried this thing and you guys the hype is the hype this thing smells so good it's so moisturizing it lathers so well i think it lathers a little bit more than the only and i'm so impressed and i'm just there yeah, i'm there yeah. this one i haven't used up to a month maybe three weeks so three weeks or so but it's so good my plan is to try other ones because i know they have others and just see which one i really like and stick to it but me i'm this kind of person if i go tomorrow now to get it and i don't see the one that i eventually stick to I'm going to get any other one i think i will i like this one oh. i really like this one like the way it smells it's so nice but the only major ingredient is the rosa centifolia it's an ingredient for dry and irritated skin it has vitamin c in it and it aids in skin healing as well and then for the ole or for the dove its major ingredients are avocado oil and calendula extract avocado oil helps with itchy skin it helps heal chapped skin replenish dry skin hydrates and moisturizes your skin calendula helps with healing wounds soothing eczema and it also has antifungal anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties it helps brighten and even out skin tones for you reduces acne and dark spots to provide a clear radiant skin for you giving me what i want they're giving me the glow that i want and i love it i love it so much okay okay so the last product i use in the shower is feminine wash i felt like this wasn't necessary but i mean it takes care of the skin down there okay so this one is the one i use is from the brand femme fresh and i use any one i see honestly they have different ones the ones with blue ish body greenish orange ish white ish and all that stuff and they all um come out differently some are clear in color some are kind of silver in color and i've been using that for years i don't even know how long but i know i've been using that for years and it does the job for me okay so that's that for the things i use in the shower now moving on to the things i use after shower okay so first up is my good molecules niacinamide toner my holy grail my baby ah this product i have been using it since 2019 it has a combination of niacinamide vitamin c abrutin liquor rice is that how it's pronounced liquor rice root extract we all know what vitamin c does to the skin dope 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 it clears out your skin helps with scarring so for niacinamide which is like the major ingredient in this um toner it restores barrier function it improves complexion it, it takes care of acne it lightens age spots it increases elasticity and it narrows pores down and like the minute i apply this after shower my face just glows up immediately like it takes my face from 1 to 100 which i really really like and um the other ingredients in it i've talked about vitamin c arbutin evens out and brightens your skin lightens dark areas can also help with the appearance of scars um what else what else liquor rice root extract helps to brighten and soothe itching and irritated skin i mean i feel like it can speak for itself this is what i use as my toner moving on 
So the next product I use after shower is serum. Before now, I was using the Rada Beauty Vitamin C Serum with Hyaluronic. <laughs> that really ties my tongue every time. Acid, which is really good, really, really good. I still love that product enough. I changed to something else, which, which I will talk about very soon. But no reason at all for me change. Okay, let me not say no reason. It's not a very reasonable reason. It's just a personal reason. The fact that it's too light, I was just wanting to use something that the consistency was slightly thick and you know slimy and all that stuff it's too watery that's just all I want to say but it does the job it smoothes out your skin like it just gives you that instant glow for the ingredients we have the vitamin C which I've spoken about already and then we have hyaluronic acid which instantly hydrates your skin keeps your skin firm and supple smoothens your skin texture anti-aging dewy complexion all that good stuff and also reduces skin wrinkles and lines i changed it to the good molecules niacinamide to, um, serum which i really like i like the way it feels on the skin i feel like they feel the same to be honest it's just that this one is thicker and you know slimy and all that stuff i've spoken about what niacinamide does on the skin which is a1 all around but i'm thinking of getting the this coloration correcting serum from good molecules as well which has like a very strong ingredients which tackles hyperpigmentation but yeah i'm still thinking of it because of that major ingredients which is the trinexamic acid which reduces dark spots and improves hyperpigmentation i'm trying to round up this video i need to go out so next up is my body cream which is the brother to my body scrub it's from oriflame which is their milk and honey gold nourishing hand and body cream very good i just spoke about honey and milk and their works this cream one thing i love about the cream is the fact that it is very very moisturizing and honey and milk are like very good with moisturizing your skin uh the vitamin a in milk helps treat dry flaky skin honey helps just make your skin look beautiful and healthy and all that good stuff i think we're finishing soon the next product is eye cream which is this one from the inkalist it's their brighten eye <laughs> eye cream so eye creams as we know are very important for the eyes just to help keep your eye looking alive when you apply it it has this um shimmer look it comes out slightly orange in color so it just immediately does like the oomph that you need for your eye to look alive the next product is sunscreen which is from La Roche Posay. I hope I pronounced that right. And is I'm going to put a picture on the screen. Is the Anthelios 50 plus SPF. I've been using this one too for a while, but it's been on and off for me. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I will call it love and hate relationship. It's it's just mostly I forget. And then sometimes, but I'm I'm doing better. Let's just leave the story. Eh? It's something that I, I take seriously now. The last item is lip balm. How can I forget lip balm? And it's this one from a brand called Pretty. They have different ones. They have the original, they have coconut, they have aloe vera, they have bubble gum, they have pink grapefruits, they have citrus, they have cherry, they have vanilla, they have pearl shine. For me, I started off with the original, which is just clear white then when i went back to get the original i did not see <laughs> as always so i got the coconut and i really like the way it smells like coconut like when you open it it smells like coconut i just i love things that smell good to be honest the stick is also clear there's this one that the stick is colored the bubble gum one is colored and i've also used that one before i've only used the bubble gum the or original and the coconut every other one i mentioned i've not used before i mean i use lip balm more than i use lip gloss to be honest i only apply lip gloss when i have makeup on i hope i was clear enough i feel like this video was all over the place
so guys that brings me to the end of this video i hope you guys found this helpful again skincare is try and error what will work for a might not work for b what will work for b might not work for a and what will work for a might work for b work for c work for d and that's just how we help each other so some of these products i got to know about them through you know other youtubers here on youtube i hope you enjoyed watching this video i need to go out i guess i'll see you guys in my next video please give this video a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel leave your comments down for me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys hey,